What's up guys, Justin here with the Fusion Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new feature they just added to Fusion 360 that allows you to automatically add fasteners to objects. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is actually a really cool feature. So we've had access to like McMaster Car and other things like that in the past, but what they've just done in the newest version of Fusion 360 is they've added the ability to insert fasteners. And so what you can do is within this object right here, and I just created some random plates. Um, there's no real like rhyme or reason to these or anything like that. But you've got the ability to click on this button right here to insert a fastener. Well, if you look at this, we now have a library of bolts, screws, nuts, and washers in here that you can add automatically, which is super cool. So let's say that we wanted to add maybe like a, uh, we'll go with a round head right here. And we'll go with uh, maybe a self-tapping and we're just going to pick one of the options that are over here. So notice how you get a ton of different options in here for things that you can select. You can kind of move this out um, and move this over in order to see a little bit more about them, especially if you're looking for something specific. But we'll go ahead right now, and we'll just pick this first option. And so what we can do is we can mouse over this, and the problem is I think I've picked one um, that doesn't quite get big enough, but you can mouse over this, and this is going to place this in this location. Now, one of the cool things about this is this is going to try to automatically find something that fits in the holes in here, um, but if it doesn't, you can also pick one of these other options um, in order to kind of like size it yourself, right? So I can just kind of go up and up until we find something that works right here and I can take this and notice how right here I can take this and I can change the length. So I can set the length in here and notice how this is snapping to the lengths that you can buy or that you can get right here. And then when you're done, you can click on the option for okay. And what that's gonna do is that's going to place that fastener inside of your model like this. And so I don't know if there's a way to actually like select a different kind of fastener in here, that I don't know. Um, but you have the ability in order to quickly add this, you can also make adjustments like adding washers. So for example, I can click on the option for insert fastener right here. And let's say I wanted to add a washer under this. And we're just gonna pick a plain washer. We'll just pick like the first option right here. Or maybe we'll go with this black metal washer G. But what you can do is you can mouse over this object right here and you can click and obviously this is picking a washer that's uh, not exactly the right size, so we can kind of adjust this to whatever we want. But then when we click on okay, what that's gonna do is that's gonna take this object and notice how it actually adjusts it so that your washer fits underneath this fastener head right here. And it's creating all of the joints in here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can do this with washers. You can also do this with nuts. So. Say that you wanted to add a nut on the end of this, and I probably need to make this a little bit longer really quick. So we can just take this object, we can just edit this fastener, and I can adjust the length, right? So maybe I'm gonna want this to hang out more like one inch, or I'm gonna want this whole thing to be one inch. But now if I click on insert, and I wanna add a fastener, so if I go into nuts right here, we're gonna pick a, we'll just go with a hex nut. And there's a bunch of different options in here again, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these. I can mouse over this object and click on it. And notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna let me move this up and down. Well, I can just click on this face and it's going to align it with this face right here. And so this is gonna tell you that this has a different size and so the threads aren't going to fit exactly. So you would wanna make sure that you select the proper nut in here for that. Um, but um, that's, that's something that you can pay attention to when you're actually selecting these. I more just wanna show you how you can add these into um, your designs. But notice how we've got this nut right here. So one other cool feature about this that I really like is you've also got the ability, and obviously you wouldn't like build this this way, but you've got the ability to not only add a single um, bolt in here or screw, you've also got the ability to add multiple screws. So let's say for example, and the square heads are probably gonna be a little bit big. So maybe we'll go with a hex head. Let's pick this one right here. But notice how what we have been doing is we've been mousing over one hole. Well, notice how this has multiple holes in it. Well, if I mouse over this edge, this cursor edge, or this uh, circle edge right here, I can actually click 
and I can place this and it's going to basically put them in every single similar hole on this model. So you don't have to do that. You can toggle this off just by unchecking select similar in here or just by mousing over this uh, singular point. But this is gonna give you the ability to add all of these at once. And then you could go through and you could adjust the length again. You can also use this little arrow in order to make the size bigger or smaller. And so notice how it's basically going to size down and then size back up right here. And as long as it's yellow, I think that means that those are going to actually fit in that opening. But not only will this create these right here, you can also insert the washers um, for all of them at once. So once you've placed these, if I just pick a washer, right? We'll pick this first washer and we're just gonna mouse over. Again, you want the edge of the hole right here but notice how this took all of them. And I'm gonna adjust the size really quick. I'm gonna click on okay. Whoa, that went a little further than I wanted it to go. Um, but that's going to automatically adjust the height in here. And I can just go back and I can just edit this fastener in order to make it smaller because it came in here a little bit too big. That's one of the cool features about this is if I click on okay, notice how it's gonna adjust these back down. So you can use this in order to quickly add those nuts and washers in here um, directly inside of your model from a library that lives in Fusion 360. All right, so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this feature. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.